Velocities are complicated, but we insist upon making them simple. Blueback Rock's velocity solves one essential need inside the Petrel Velocity Model building workflows. It lets you see the data that will be used in your velocity model. Very simple to use, no convoluted workflows. Explicitly designed interfaces and plots that display just the required type of data. Rapid and direct access to well velocity and seismic pro velocity data. Allows users to assess quality of velocity data within minutes. This project from the Gulf of Mexico has several deviated wells, tops, interpreted surfaces in time, as well as seismic interval velocities that have been derived from the RMS velocities using the Dix approximation. Blueback Rock's velocity is launched from the Marina toolbar. All wells that have a petrol check shot object associated with them can be selected. Upon selection, the well log interval velocities are displayed in the velocity window. Next, the user can optionally select the seismic velocity point set. The seismic velocities are displayed together with the well velocities. The user can narrow the focus to see only a few locations within a freehand polygon area. Within few clicks, it is already possible to visualize trends, find out eventual outliers and see if the data shows common characteristic trends that belong to single layers. Blueback Rock's Velocity can also read velocity files in seismic format. In this case, the data is automatically converted to points and decimated. The user can control the level of decimation. Next, the interpreter uses an interactive table editor to define input surfaces in time and, if available, the corresponding tops. The input is context sensitive, so there is no need to search for data in the Petrel input tree. Based on the input surfaces, Rock's Velocity creates the layers automatically and computes tables that offer sorted overviews and QA with information about time, velocities, thickness, etc. These tables can optionally be shared with external applications like, for example, Microsoft Excel. Seismic velocities are created to correct for normal move-out effects before stacking, therefore they need to be calibrated against well velocities. Blueback Rock's velocity allows to, the user to select a different calibration method for the seismic velocities on a layer-by-layer -layer basis. For each layer, interval velocity values for wells and seismic velocities are estimated using a radius around each well and compared using the cross plot below in the middle. For each well location, a calibration factor is also computed and mapped. The user can choose several methods to control the lateral variation of the calibration factors between the wells. First, by generating a contour map using a standard convergent gridding technique. Second, estimating a regression trend using the cross-plotted interval velocities. And third, optionally assigning an external calibration map that has been produced using advanced mapping techniques. The impact of the chosen method can be immediately assessed using the velocity cross-plot on the lower left-hand side. This is the main part of the workflow within Blueback Rock's Velocity, where the interpreter defines which type of velocity parameters describe each of the defined layers based on the available data. Currently, three methods are supported. The first one estimates interval velocities. The second uses a linear regression to estimate a linear increase of velocity with depth. This creates a set V node velocities and K values. The third method uses a layer thickness midpoint versus interval velocity trend to estimate an interval velocity. This is strictly only valid for cases where the relationship is clearly linear. For each of the chosen methods within a layer, the program computes the instantaneous velocities and maps the corresponding velocity parameters so that a rapid assessment of the model validity can be done from top to bottom. In the current example, the first layer between the reference datum and the first horizon is best described as a linear increase of velocity with depth, while the second layer, which is rather thin, is best described using interval velocity. Additional information about estimated differences between depth, converted horizons and a reference top can be displayed in the lower left table 
just by clicking on any well in any of the plots. Based on the defined model and the estimated values, the maps created show the lateral variation of the velocity parameters for the current active layer. Using these maps, the interpreter can decide to edit certain outliers that are obviously not within realistic geological values outside of any realistic trend. Due to noise or other artifacts in the input data, this is one of the biggest problems in velocity model building. The present solution allows the interpreter to identify and sort out these problem areas early in the process. It is a known fact that there is not a unique solution possible when estimating velocity functions. This part of the process visualizes the differences between depth converted horizons and tops for every well and layer. It also offers a method to optimize the residual values by adjusting the modeled velocities. At any stage during the velocity analysis, the user can generate outputs of instantaneous velocities as log well data or output surfaces and velocities as point sets to be mapped externally using advanced mapping tools. Also, depth convert additional time surfaces and save map velocity parameters as surface attributes. The user can also output the current set of calibrated seismic interval and average velocities. All results are immediately available in Petrel and can be used as input for mapping or to the Petrel velocity model building process. We can see here the results of a depth converted horizon as point data and then its equivalent contoured surface in depth. All the other surfaces have been depth converted too and are displayed in the depth index Petrel 3D window together with wells and tops. Finally, we see the display of a new set of calibrated seismic velocities. In the right part, a Blueback 3D Crossplot Investigator window shows the difference between original seismic interval velocities and calibrated seismic interval velocities. To summarize, Blueback Rocks Velocity brings transparency to the velocity model building process, provides effective velocity data visualization and editing options, is a dynamic and interactive tool that saves days of work when trying to understand and prepare data prior to building a reliable velocity model.